Welcome to the third in a series of SolarEdge Home Battery instructional videos. In this video, we will guide you through the battery commissioning process using the Intuitive Set App mobile app. Note that the SolarEdge Home Network must be installed prior to the commissioning process. Before using Set App, let's prepare our battery for commissioning. First, open the battery cover door and turn on the battery circuit breaker. Then switch the on-off P switch on the battery to the P state for two seconds. Now, make sure the blue LED on the battery is blinking and the red LED is off. Finally, before connecting with setup to the inverter, if there is a DC switch on the inverter, it should be on. Make sure that the inverter is connected to AC. Now, launch setup and scan the QR code on the inverter. Connect to the inverter by switching the on-off P switch on the inverter to the P state for two seconds. Follow the on-screen instructions until you reach the inverter commissioning screen. Tap Device Manager. Your batteries should appear in the Device Manager screen, and you can select or deselect the batteries you would like to add. If not all batteries were detected, tap Can't Find Your Device. Now, click Add Devices to add the selected batteries and follow the Configuration Wizard instructions. Next, the battery firmware will be automatically upgraded. Note that this may take a few minutes. Once firmware upgrade is completed, you can continue with the configuration of the battery. As the configuration wizard applies to all inverters on site, you will be prompted to detect follower inverters. In this demonstration, a follower inverter has already been detected. The next step is tapping Start Association. Now, the batteries will automatically be associated with their connected inverters. This entire process should take up to two minutes. Battery association is a process of connection verification of the battery to the inverter and is performed in its entirety with safe, low DC voltage. Once association is complete, you will be able to review all battery and inverter associations. If you need to troubleshoot any of the battery connections, you can do so by blinking the LEDs on the batteries and their associated inverters. To do so, just tap the battery LED icon on Setapp. The same can be done for inverters by tapping the inverter LED icon on Setapp. Batteries that failed the association will be placed in power saving mode until the troubleshooting is complete and won't be included in smart energy management self-consumption, or backup operation. We recommend troubleshooting any installation issues as soon as possible. After troubleshooting, you can reset association process by tapping Restart Association Process. Note that if you troubleshoot the battery at a later time, you will need to repeat the configuration process. Now that you have successfully associated the SolarEdge home batteries to all inverters on site, Tap on the SolarEdge Home Battery Pack for more details about the batteries and associated inverters. We are now ready to continue with the commissioning of the storage and backup settings and the battery self-test. Return to the commissioning screen. Tap Power Control. Tap Energy Manager. Tap Energy Control. Now, you will be prompted to conduct a battery self-test. Tap Yes, then tap Run Test. The battery self-test should take approximately one minute per battery. Once the test is done successfully, you may return to the Energy Manager settings of the battery and conduct the various required settings. The next step is setting the energy control mode. Let's set it to Maximize Self-Consumption. Tap Backup Configuration. Now, we verify backup is enabled. Then, adjust your backup reserve settings. You're almost done. You've successfully configured the storage settings for the inverter. Repeat the storage setting for all other inverters on site with SolarEdge Home Battery connected to them. That's it. 
your SolarEdge home battery is fully installed and configured. For more information about the SolarEdge home battery, visit our website and our YouTube channel.